Hi everyone, um, today I'm busy making some mug so I thought we'd make a short video looking at how the mugs are made to give you an insight into what goes on behind the scenes here at Crafty Penguin. So first of all, once I've printed off the design onto a sheet of paper, it looks a little something like this. So this is the design that I'm working on at the moment. Okay, you'll notice that it's in reverse. It has to be backwards so that when you put it onto the mug, it prints out the right way around. What I need to do now is get these cut out. So Now the designs are cut out. We've got two rectangles ready to go onto our mugs, which we need to now tape to the mug ready for sublimation printing. So the next stage that we're gonna do is get these two designs taped to some blank mugs. As you can see, now I've got two mugs, need to get these printed onto. So got some mugs. I also like to use a template, which I find makes it much easier. So I can put this over the handle and put it in place so I can get it in the same place every time with my design onto the mug. Got some heat proof tape and some scissors to get it all stuck down with. So I've done the first of the mugs that I need to do. As you can see, the design's here. Always make sure you put it the right way up. You don't want it upside down. It's then got tape all the way around the edge, nice and neat. Make sure that there's no bumps, lumps, any air in there, nice and smooth. So you get a really good finish on your print is what you're looking for. Okay, so the first mug's done. It's come out of the press. Grab it by the handle. Don't touch anything else at this point because the rest of it is really, really hot and it will burn you. What I tend to do as well is put it on some sort of heat proof surface so you don't burn anything else to leave it to cool down. So while that's on there, I'm gonna crack on with the second one and then we'll have a look and see what they've turned out like. So the mugs are now done. All I need to do now is just take off the tape and we can see what it actually looks like. So, it's time for the big reveal. There we go. There's the first mug. All done. All finished. Nice and clean and sharp. Let's have a look at the other one. Same kind of thing. Peel off all the tape. And let's see what this one looks like. There you go, that's the other mug. So, job's a good one. We've got two mugs, big fella and little fella, all ready to go for a custom order. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that's given you a bit of an insight into how I make my mugs here at Crafty Penguin. Don't forget, if you are interested, please send me a message on Facebook or on social media, get in touch with me and you can get your own mugs customised for yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Yeah.